What's up guys, I'm Ira Shell and this is Nuggets of Truth. Today is a very solemn day because it's today that we commemorate all of our fallen soldiers regardless of race, ethnicity, gender, or religion. We commemorate, honor, and give thanks for their sacrifice that gave us our physical freedom in this beautiful country. I'm very grateful and thankful to call home. Today, the majority of us will grill our burgers, hot dogs, and enjoy family time and not truly take a moment to think about the reason we can enjoy this time with our family. While others will mourn, they'll mourn sons, daughters, husbands, wives, brothers, sisters, fathers, mothers, aunts, uncles, and friends. The moment we stop being thankful for their sacrifice and instead remove, lower, or degrade their sacrifice is the moment we will allow others to get rid of exactly what they died for. We remember their sacrifice so that we never forget those brave men and women who gave their lives and exactly what they gave their lives for. Freedom. Your freedom. My freedom. All those who are coming to this beautiful land in hopes that they might also receive and enjoy those same freedoms. The scriptures warn us of a time when freedom will no longer be an option for the entire world. A time when the days have to be cut short because if not, not a single soul would be saved. And each and every day we get closer to that time. There are thousands upon thousands of Christians displaced, beaten, arrested, and murdered every day simply because of their faith. While we here in the West don't seem to appreciate and give thanks for the freedoms that are stopping that from happening to us right now. We're currently only free because of someone else's sacrifice because freedom is never free. The price of freedom has, is, and always will be bloodshed. It's always a life for a life. Even our spiritual freedom was purchased by the spilt blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. There's no such thing as free freedom. There's always a price. The price is blood sacrificed out of love. Love for the American people, love for the American dream, love for the American flag, and love for America. Jesus describes the sacrifice of your own life for another as the greatest act of love. John chapter 15, verse 13. Greater love has no one than this, that someone laid down his life for his friends. They gave their lives so that you didn't have to. Mothers and fathers buried their sons and daughters. Children buried their mothers and fathers. Siblings buried their sisters and brothers. All of this was for one purpose, freedom. This Memorial Day, take some time out to give thanks for your freedoms. Freedoms that you didn't have to spill your blood for. Freedoms that were purchased for you by someone else. Thank the Lord that you have the privilege to live in a free country like America because not everyone does. Around the world, children have to make a stand for their faith that adults find more than difficult, if not impossible, to do. Don't let those freedoms slip away. Stand for those freedoms. Give thanks that we still have those freedoms. Pray that those freedoms may not be taken from us and pray for those who have lost someone fighting for those freedoms that they may have peace and comfort from God. This isn't our usual Nuggets of Truth video, but nevertheless, we felt it important to bring to remembrance those who died for our freedoms and those dwindling freedoms that they died for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, God bless.